What's in Jolly Green in the slam box? I can ollie clean with some ham hocks. I'm Muhammad Ali mean about my fam ox. The border collie scene with some lamb chops. The tamale beans talking to some damn rock. Melancholy spleen flim flam socks. This ain't Charlie Sheen and the shamrocks. My nollies clean thermodynamics. You're watching Jolly Green in the slam box. <laughs> Hey, Jolly Green here. You just got finished watching another episode of Jolly Green in the Slam Box. And the episode you just got finished watching was a frontside Nolly Big Spin. So that trick wasn't too hard to get. It didn't take me too long. I kept at it. It took me a little while. A lot of tries, but it was something I was able to get in the day, the first day that I started trying, unlike a lot of other tricks, especially currently what I'm doing now. But that trick, it worked out, and I really liked the landing that I had. A little tic-tac at the end, but it was pretty clean and uh, no foot drag or anything, unlike uh, some of the stuff I'd, I'd do. But anyway, so that was that. Uh, that's something that I've never done on the street. I could do it, but it would hurt a lot worse, or it hurt the same amount, but there's more glory on doing it uh, on the slam box. So anyway, that's why I do it on the slam box rather than, uh, that's why I learn new tricks now on the slam box, because it's just more glory in it, and I just want to get that trick. I also need to work on my proficiency, which I will probably need to do and maybe do a series on uh, improving my basic skills because I'm having difficulty landing tricks. So as far as the slam block is concerned, currently, like I went two weekends in a row trying the same uh, th three tricks, basically. And then I got I didn't land 
land anything the whole time. And then I went and tried something else and then landed it, changed it up a little bit. And then I went and landed one of the tricks that I was trying. So I landed two tricks the following weekend after two dry weekends. And then after that, I also, uh, this past weekend, I did and I went and did two of the three tricks that I was trying before and got so much closer, even that much closer, which I was getting close the whole time. I was even getting closer and closer. And then I also made progress on a trick that I wasn't getting that close on, but I was getting a little bit of, but I got a lot closer and figured something out, but I still didn't land anything. And then I went to record some in the bowl because I had to go and do a little shopping at the mall with my wife. So I had limited time. So I jumped in the bowl, started, I started uh, skating in the bowl and did a beautiful 5-0 pivot up on the parking block. And then my card was full because I've been recording on uh, 120 frames per second and it takes up more, more room because I'm doing more complicated tricks and I want to get that buttery smooth slow-mo, but it's a compromise because then I use up all my card. And then another one of my cards just messed up so I can't even use it anymore in the GoPro. I can still use it in other media, just not the GoPro. So anyway, this weekend, I'm going to the Braille party with my daughter. She's going to be doing some rollerblading there and a little bit of skateboarding. And I'm definitely going to be doing some skateboarding. I'm dressing up. I got some special makeup, um, sweatproof makeup, so I can dress up for Halloween and still skate and not uh, look ridiculous. So uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm going to do some recording there. And maybe I'll be on the Braille channel too, so keep an eye out. They, they sometimes do live stuff. Uh, who knows what I'll do. But anyway, um, I'm trying YouTube to get stuff out there. It's just stuff's busy at work and stuff. But anyway, thank you for your support. Make sure you like, comment below, subscribe, and thanks. I'll see you next time, YouTube. Bye.